Welcome to NARAP KB TV. This video is based on NARAP KB 28750. How to use SnapLock feature in ONTAP 9. The SnapLock feature is now introduced in ONTAP 9. It is a high performance compliance solution that provides the capability of data retention and warm protection for retained data. It creates non-modifiable, non-erasable volumes to prevent files from being altered or deleted until a set retention date. There are two types of SnapLock licenses, SnapLock Compliance, SnapLock Enterprise. SnapLock Compliance implements strict regulatory requirements. However, SnapLock Enterprise does not follow strict regulatory compliance. In SnapLock Enterprise, data can be destroyed by the administrator. However, that is not an option in SnapLock Compliance. Now let's look at some of the capabilities for both of these. SnapLock Enterprise has the option to reinitialize disks, destroy SnapLock aggregate and volume during the retention period, rename the aggregate or the volume, supports single file snap restore, snap restore and has metro cluster support. It also supports non NetApp disks using flexory virtualization. In SnapLock compliance, you can use the SnapLock volume for audit logging as well. These are the steps to set up a SnapLock volume on the system. The first step is to install the license. To install the license, run system license add and then the license number. Run the command system license show. We now see that the SnapLock license is installed on the system. Next step is to initialize the compliance clock. To initialize the compliance clock, run snaplock compliance hyphen clock initialize hyphen node and then the node name. Please note that the clock can be initialized only once. Ensure that the date and the time is set correctly. You need to repeat the procedure for rest of the nodes. To confirm, run snaplock compliance hyphen clock show. Next step is to create a snaplock aggregate. To create an aggregate, run storage aggregate create hyphen aggregate aggregate name hyphen node then the node name hyphen disk count and the number of disks you would like to assign hyphen snap lock type and we'll set it to compliance please note that you cannot use SSDs or flash pools for snap lock aggregates to verify run storage aggregate show hyphen fields snaplock hyphen type and we see that aggregate underscore SLC is set to compliance. Next step is to create a snaplock volume. To create a volume run volume create hyphen V server name of the vserver hyphen volume name of the volume hyphen aggregate and the name of the aggregate to confirm run volume show hyphen vserver abc hyphen fields snaplock hyphen type we see that the volume slc is created with the snaplock type as compliance Next step is to mount the snaplock volume. To mount the volume run volume mount hyphen v server name of the v server hyphen volume name of the volume hyphen junction hyphen path and the junction path. 
you can only mount under the root of the SVM you cannot mount a regular volume under a snap lock volume and junction path once assigned it cannot be modified later to verify run volume show hyphen volume SLC hyphen fields junction path the volume is mounted under slash SLC next step is to set the retention time to set a retention time run volume snap lock modify hyphen v server abc hyphen volume slc hyphen default retention period in this case 20 days next step is to verify the snap lock settings to verify the settings run volume snap lock show hyphen v server apc hyphen volume slc we now see that the default retention period is set to 20 days instead of maximum retention period of 30 years for more information please refer NetApp KB 28750 and subscribe to NetApp KB TV for more knowledge based videos thank you for watching